NFL race baiters are pissed after what every living president just did to them, then Ted Cruz makes them all pay. Over the last several months, NFL players have continued their disgusting antics on the field by kneeling during the national anthem. These arrogant players claim that they are protesting police brutality and racial oppression in America all while cashing million-dollar checks. However, while these NFL players have had the support of the liberal mainstream media and other race baiters around the country, every living president in America just publicly humiliated them, and then Senator Ted Cruz spikes the proverbial football in the end zone. This past summer, our country was hit by a series of national disasters that could test even the strongest faith in a person. Shortly after the eclipse in August, the Texas coast was walloped by Hurricane Harvey that caused unprecedented flooding in the Houston. Then soon after that massive storm, Hurricane Irma made her way through the Caribbean leaving a path of destruction before slamming into the Florida Keys and the west coast of Florida. Soon after Irma left, Hurricane Maria made her way through the Caribbean again before making landfall in Puerto Rico virtually decimating the already ravaged country. Donations from Good Samaritans all over the country have been pouring in to help the storm-ravaged areas, but these Americans are still suffering. So, to help these people a hurricane relief concert was planned to raise money for all the victims affected by these horrific storms. This past Saturday night, the charity concert was held in the Reed Arena at Texas A&M University and featured a slew of musical performances. In attendance were all five living presidents in a rare appearance along with a taped message of President Trump, but that is not what ticked off the race baiters in the NFL. When the national anthem began to play not one former president kneeled, but all stood except for wheelchair-bound former President George H. W. Bush. Here is more from CNN. Members of an exclusive club made a rare joint appearance Saturday. All five living former U.S. presidents took part in a benefit concert in Texas to raise money for hurricane relief efforts, while President Donald Trump appeared in a taped video message to the concertgoers. Former Presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George H. W. Bush and Jimmy Carter attended Saturday night's event, named Deep from the Heart, the One America Appeal, at Reed Arena at Texas A&M University and College Station. Trump planned his taped message to hail the resiliency of the American people following the devastation of this year's deadly hurricanes and wildfires. In it, he calls the effort of his predecessors tremendous. To Presidents Jimmy Carter, George H. W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush and Barack Obama, Melania and I want to express our deep gratitude for your tremendous assistance, Trump says in the message. This wonderful effort reminds us that we truly are one nation under God, all unified by our values and our devotion to one another. Seeing the former presidents standing together in unity during a time of great tragedy should send a clear message to the race baiters in the NFL. No matter what their political differences are, these men all came together to show unity in a country that is still recovering from the natural disasters over the last several months. If these NFL players want to protest or draw attention to perceived racial inequality or police brutality they are more than welcome do it on their own time, but leave it off the field. Maybe by seeing the former presidents standing together with President Trump and couple that with Senator Cruz's words, these NFL players will learn a valuable lesson, but let's not hold our breath on that, on that.